Yes, I'd just like to offer a big shout out to Touchdown Digital for sponsoring this week's video. Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all fighting fit and well. Well, it's nice to get back into the studio. I've been, uh, I've had a couple of trips in the last couple of days, but prior to that I was working 16 hour days, virtually seven days a week for about a month leading up to Christmas because of all the, uh, the advertising um, photography that, I've, that I'm employed to do. So it's nice to have a little bit of a break up until uh, New Year. But um, I have to show you something which I've purchased with um, a gift card that I received from one of my clients, which they kindly gave to me for Christmas. And I've worked with this client for many, many years. And they gave me a $1,000 uh, Amazon gift voucher and I thought well what a great present to give a photographer because what do we usually do that's right we bloody go out and buy more gear we're crazy we we all do it um, and I'm no exception now over the past 12 months I've been um, looking at a tripod by the name of Innerell now these are sold exclusively on Amazon a carbon fiber tripod and they have various sizes so I started looking around and doing a bit of investigation on these inner rail tripods carbon fiber and I have to say the reports were outstanding on every front um, there was no complaints whatsoever um, there are a couple of YouTube videos on this particular tripod I think a, an English guy called Dave Reeves brought one and he'd done a review on it um, I don't do. I often don't. I don't often do um, equipment reviews, but I think I will on this one because there's a lot of cheap ass tripods out there, and why people buy cheap tripods, I do not know. Um, just don't do that. I mean, if you've spent thousands of dollars on your camera and lenses, and you've got a hundred dollars left, don't buy a hundred dollar tripod for goodness sakes. Save your money for the next couple of months and buy buy one anywhere anywhere between five and a grand. I mean, it's better to buy expensive once than to buy cheap half a dozen times, especially when it comes to tripods. So anyway, cut a long story short. I got hold of this, uh, this uh, Christmas voucher, which was kindly given to me by one of my clients, as I stated, and I got on Amazon. And I purchased uh, the biggest inner rail tripod um, that they make. In actual fact, it's probably the biggest tripod I've ever owned. Besides my studio tripods, my personal tripods, which I have, I think I've got five of these things, in various sizes and I'm talking about weight capacity and tube diameter leg tube diameter and this particular tripod is the RT90C and this is it here it's an absolute beast they're 40 millimeter tubes 40 millimeter now I'm a big bloke I've got massive hands when I grab all of it you can see that it's it's a huge tripod. Now, it comes with a bowl mount, but it also comes with a leveler underneath, which is sitting over there, which I may not need because the tripod has the bubble level on it anyway, and so does the tripod head, the ball head, which I did purchase well through Inneroll, which I'll get to that in a moment. But this thing is massive. Like, look at that. that that's just... It's ridiculous, quite frankly. Um, spiked feet. Now, as I said, this holds 40 kilos. I mean, I mean, unless you're using a, a bloody camera that Ansel Adams used, you probably wouldn't need a tripod that would take this weight. But strength-wise, it's as good as anything that I own. Now, I've owned Gitzo tripods in the past, which cost me up to $1,500. I've got a Benro sitting over there worth about $850, and I've got two or three others that are around about the five to $700 mark, um, all different heights, and none of my tripods, oh, sorry, buy one, have a center column. I don't like center columns. Never use them, never will use them, and I suggest you don't either, but I will be doing a video on center columns in the next few days when the weather lifts here. It's starting to rain here in the mountains. But this is a beast. It is an absolute ball terror of a tripod. And I will be putting it through its test and testing it out. Um, this bowl comes out, as you can see. And the other 
<coughs> bolt head goes in there, it's 75 millimeter um, with a leveler handle underneath. I probably won't use that, but I will show you that in the video that I'll be doing in the next few days on this. This is an absolute screamer. I mean, bottom leg, the thickness of it, that's 30, that's 36 millimeter, the bottom leg. So it's a beast. Things are darn beast. Um, 500 bucks delivered within four days. It's fully carbon fibre, or the aluminium um, base or bowl here. Um, the locks seem to work okay. You pull them out like that. Okay. Quite stiff. Um, but, geez, it's an absolute corker. Um, I can't see anything fail on this um, until I get it out in the field and test it. Uh, I think it's just an... <laughs> Seriously, all the reports I've seen on this were from the United States where they put guns on top of them. They use them in rifle ranges or for shooting, um, for sports shooting over there in the States. So it can handle a lot of weight. And it's, it's not a light tripod either. It's, it's, I think it's close to three kilos in weight. So I won't be I won't be using this tripod uh, around waterfalls in the mountains, especially when I've got to walk um, into these locations, and it's quite arduous, or arduous. Sorry is the word um, coming back out. So this will be too heavy for me. Um, but I will be using this around uh, seascapes, um, sunrise, sunset shoots. But it also comes with rubber feet as well. But I always use spike feet. Um, I find the rubber feet are only good for indoors, um, smooth surfaces. But these chew into everything these steel spikes and I use them on all my tripods but this is it this is the Innerel 90C an absolute beast of a tripod now I'll put that down there as you can see it's a massive unit still I had a bit of bumming left over so I Innerel make ball heads and this is the biggest ball head they make put it there okay Now, it works quite well. Um, it's one of the few ball heads that has the notch out there and a notch on the other side. Now, this is a massive ball here, huge. Everything about this Innerrel tripod setup is massive. Um, this isn't too heavy, it's not too bad. It is a 65 millimeter plate, so it's not a small ball head. It's quite large actually, probably the biggest one you can buy. Um, it also has a rotating base, so you can do um, panoramas with it along here. Okay, so it's got all the gear. It's, um, it's got everything that's needed by us photographers. So this is the Innerrel Innerrel N52 ball head. That's about I think around 220 uh, on Inst on um, Amazon. And once again, the reports have been outstanding. I mean, I don't buy rubbish. But I thought, well, I'll just give this a go, you know. I mean, I got given this, this gift, and I thought, well, I didn't really, didn't really even need this tripod. But everyone was raving about it, and I thought, oh, I'll, I'll buy it and see what it's like. So having said that, we're going to grab this tripod, the ball head, and the camera, and we're going to go just over there to one of the lookouts, and we'll put this bad boy Innerrel RT90C and the Innerrel... N52 ball head through its paces and I'll give you my honest opinion as to what I think about this monster. So having to that, let's go.